arguably the best modern classic and by far the rarest car that I've been able to film, drive and review. Today we are looking at the One Series M Coupe, more commonly known as the 1M. A massive thank you to Funnel Cars for allowing us to review this car today. It is claimed that this 1M is not a real M car. I'll talk through later in the video why that is, but I wanna know your thoughts when we drive it, launch it, the look of the exterior and interior, if you think this is and should be a real M car. We're gonna be talking through exterior, interior, the engine, importantly, the exhaust sound, and taking it on a drive. Let's dig into the exterior. The 1M is without a doubt way more aggressive than the standard car. We start in the front here and you can see these extended wheel arches, this massive front bumper. I think personally it looks insane. It looks like a beast, aggressive, timeless. The headlights as well are beautifully designed. We've got on the left these incredible intakes. The middle ones go to your radiators. Side provide air for your wheels but overall just an insane looking front bumper. Let's talk about these intakes. Not only number one, do they look incredibly beautiful and aggressive in the front on obviously both sides, but they serve a purpose. There's not these massive gaping holes for no reason. The middle ones provide air to your radiators, obviously ensuring that the car remains cool when you are pushing this on the road or tracks. The left, we have these side intakes that provide air for the wheels, keeping them cool and also overall improving aerodynamics. Moving on to the side of the vehicle. Starting at the front, we've got these stunning 19 inch alloy wheels. Brake calipers in the front are 360 millimeters, at the back, 350 millimeters. The car sits noticeably lower. The stance, overall look and design is incredibly mean on this car. We've got obviously the M badge reminding you of what a special car you're in. Moving on to the side mirror, we've got this bespoke unique design that again has just added to the overall look and feel of the side of the vehicle. Starting off at the rear, we've got this boot lid spoiler. Again, just adds, I think, a subtle clean, but adds to the aggression of the rear. We've got a M badge reminding those behind you that this is a real M car. Then we've got below this very clean, aggressive rear bumper. Of course, these gorgeous quad tailpipes that I think from the back make this car sit beautifully, but also look incredible. More importantly than all of that, it sounds incredible, this car. As we can see from the rear as well now, as I mentioned earlier, these stunning flared rear arches, obviously the front as well are slightly wider out. It helps to fit these insanely big 19 inch alloys and meaty tires. But more importantly, again, I think it just makes the car squat and look insane. Let's talk about what's special in the interior. In the interior, we've got this stunning Alcantara and M steering wheel. We've got, again, Alcantara on the dash with this orange stitching. On the door, we've got this Alcantara with orange stitching. M badge in the middle to remind you that this is a real M car. The same with the sides of the, I don't even know what you call this. Same with the, the same with the door sills, seals. <laughs> These, I think personally, really cool looking M dials. Down here, we've got the all-important manual gearbox, and maybe you don't know, but these cars were only launched in manual. I wasn't expecting this, but this 1M is fitted with Harman Kardon sound, a must-have for any BMW. And lastly, these M sports seats, again with that orange stitching and the M badge. I personally am a huge fan of these. Would love to know your thoughts though. BMW planned to only make 2,700 of these. Because of how popular they were, they ended up making 6,309. 
of which in South Africa we've only received about 100. One of the reasons people claim this is not a real M car is because of the engine letter designation. Most M cars come with the S, this comes with the N54 engine, which actually comes from a Z4. The engine in this is a 3 litre twin turbo straight 6 that puts out 250 kilowatts and 450 newton meters of torque. If that's not a real M car, I don't know what is. My personal favorite part of the video, let's hear what it sounds like. Join me inside this absolute beast. Let's take it for a drive. Look, first off, honest impressions, it's intimidating to be in such a beast, number one, such a rare car, but also the manual, the amount of power, it's low to the ground, we're on South African roads, so it's, it's a lot of mix of emotions and it's kind of taking some time to get used to and feel comfortable on the roads, but man, the power of this car, the engine absolutely hooks up and the moment you accelerate and give it, it goes. The gearbox is quick. I, even the clutch, I feel it's, it's easy to... It's easy to enjoy. Um, it's engaging. It encourages a driver. This car is made for someone who wants to drive and enjoy driving, period. And as I said, I think personally, the best modern classic. We've just been on a quick run down some short windy roads here and already something I've picked up is a lot of people notice this car. It is a car that's rare. You do have to know your BMs. You have to know what the 1M is more than just a beefier 1 Series or a bigger engine and body than the normal car. But people are hooting, smiling, clapping, noticing on bikes in cars. It has a ton of road presence and it's a privilege to be in the seat. In closing, if you're looking for a car that wants to be driven, if you're looking for a rare potential even investment, this is the car for you. It is for sale here at Funnel. A massive thank you to the guys here and Damien for allowing us to film this, review it and show it to you guys. Please support them, follow them in the socials below and contact Brad if you're interested in this vehicle. Cheers.